Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing, and we are glad in it. Amen. Amen. Glad Amen. to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Yes, Amen. Lord. To give God's name the praise and the honor and the glory. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Just another day that He has kept us. Amen. Praise Amen. Lord. Another day that He has blessed us. Yes. Another day that he has allowed us to assemble ourselves yes. in the house of worship one more time. One Amen. More time. Amen. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Amen. Yes, Amen. About what God has in store for his children. I'm yes, so glad Lord. to see each and every one of you that are out on today. We're so glad to happy to have Sister Mary with us again. Yes, Amen. 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 that you pressed your way here today. Amen. We love it when you come in. And worship with us. Amen. I'm glad that you are here. Amen. And so today, as we just for a few moments today, we're going to look at the scripture that we read. Uh, Mark, first chapter, verses 4 through 11. And verses 11 and 12. Mark 1, verses 11 and 12, it says, And there came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. Let's go to verse 10. I'm going to skip one. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open, and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And we're going to stop right there. Amen. Just for a few moments today, we just want to talk to you, uh, stating, uh, just telling the Lord, Lord, give me a sign. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lord, give me, give me a, sign. a sign. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we deal with people that want you to put up or shut up. We have some people that are what we call doubting Thomases. They won't believe anything until they can physically see it yes. with their eyes. They won't believe that somebody told you or you heard or something like that. They have to physically see it with their eyes. Yes. Some say that seeing is believing. But in Mark's rendition of the baptism of Jesus, we know that baptism is a very sacred and holy event in the life of a Christian. I believe that we have about eight that are going to be baptized. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm planning a class for them to attend so that they can understand the true meaning of baptism. Mm -hmm. It's not just being dunked in some water and being brought back up, but there is a biblical support. The Bible talks about baptism. And baptism is sort of a marriage between you and the Lord. Mm -hmm. When you're baptized, you go down as who you were, and then you come up as who God has called you to be. Yeah. So baptism is a very, very important and sacred event that should not be taken lightly. Mm -hmm. I was asked the question one time, can you be baptized more than once? Mm -hmm. Several people have been baptized two or three. It doesn't take all that. Mm -hmm. One time. Amen. <laughs> baptism. Amen. Now, now, every time you join a church, you don't know. Baptism is saying that I am the old person. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to become one with Christ and to the yeah. new person. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then that baptism, even with a when you christen a baby, that's not baptizing a baby. It's a difference. Mm -hmm. The christening is when you are giving that baby back to the Lord. 
Lord. Because our children are given to us as a gift from God. Amen? And so that christening is when we are giving what God has blessed us with, giving that baby back to the Father. Yeah. But when that child becomes old enough to understand what it means to be a Christian, then that's when they come forward and say, I want to be baptized. I want to be one with Christ. Yeah, I know. And so in our <coughs> scripture that we read, and Mark is talking about the baptism of Jesus, he talked about John, how he was baptizing in the wilderness, and he was preaching about repentance. Repentance means that you are sorry for what you have done. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. John was telling them that they need to tell God, to the Lord that they're sorry and that they needed to repent for their sins. And some people had a problem with his preaching. They were not trying to hear about the Messiah that was coming. They were happy with the way things were going and who they were going with. There are a lot of times people don't like to change. They don't like change. They like things to stay just as they are. But some things have to change because if you're doing the same thing, and getting the same results, then you have to change what you're doing in order to get different results. Mm -hmm. There are some things that we just do over and over again and we keep <coughs> going back and doing the same old thing. Yes. yes. But if you want something new and fresh and different, there are some things that you have to change in your life. I love the song by Tremaine Hawkins. She says, a change, yes. a change mm -hmm. yes. has come over yes. me. That a wonderful change mm -hmm. has come over me. Yes. And John was not your regular, up-to-date, current-looking kind of preacher. Mm -hmm. John didn't have the Stacey Adams on. Mm -hmm. on. He didn't have the, you know, the haircut of the, his hair done up. And he didn't have on the latest fashion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John lived like a savage. Yeah, Lord. He lived like he lived in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. He lived a certain of his presence, he was not concerned about how he looked. Yes, yes. A lot of times we get caught up mm -hmm. in how something or someone looks. Yes, yeah, Lord. We cannot judge a book by its cover. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you look at the book and the cover doesn't look right, you may think that the book is not a good book. Right. Mm -hmm. But there are several books that I looked at, and it didn't look like it was going to be a good book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I read the book anyway. Mm -hmm. And it turned out to be a bestseller. Mm -hmm. So everything that looks not pleasing to the eye mm -hmm. doesn't mean that it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so John was really living a wilderness experience. In your life, you're going to have to live through a wilderness experience. Yeah. Some of us may be living a wilderness experience right now. Yeah. In verse 6, it says, he was clothed with camel's hair mm -hmm. and with a girdle of skin <coughs> about his loins. Yeah. And he did eat locusts and wild honey. Mm-hmm. See, John didn't have an armor bearer Come on now. to 
to bring him a bottle of water. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. John didn't have an armor bearer to bring him a towel. And tend to his need as a preacher because that's what he was. Mm -hmm. <coughs> a preacher. Yeah, Lord. So as preachers, there are sometimes that we have to go out into the wilderness. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's why I'm a firm believer. That ministry is on the outside yes, yes. of the four walls. Yes. Yeah, Lord. Ministry is out to the people that are looking for a way out mm -hmm. or a way through their situation. Mm -hmm. There are times that we have to go out into the trenches and walk the streets and talk to people and pray for them. That is ministry. Reaching out to those that need a helping hand. Yes, Lord. Yes. And that's not a bad thing to need help. Yes. Not at all. No, not at all. Not at all. Because some of us up in here need some help. Yes, Amen. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. From the past on down. Hey, I need Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I need your help. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I need your prayer. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because as you live this life. Everybody is going to go through with something. Yes. You're not exempt yes. <clears throat> from going through. You don't have to worry about being discriminated against yeah, on going through. Mm -hmm. Because everybody at one point or another is going to go through with something. Oh, yeah. 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 But the question is, are you able to stand the storm? Are you able yes, Lord. to stand through disappointment, mm -hmm. heartache and pain, mm -hmm. trials and tribulations? Are mm -hmm. you able to stand? Yeah, yeah Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And so the people were coming, and they were being baptized mm -hmm. in the river of Jordan. Thank you, Lord. And they were confessing this scene. But John didn't take all, or he didn't take no credit. Mm -hmm. See, some people take credit mm -hmm. for somebody else's work. They do. They take credit mm -hmm. <coughs> for the blood, sweat, and tears Thank you, Lord. that someone else has shed. I believe in being original. Amen. 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 I don't have to be like nobody. Mm -hmm. Because that's, God created me to be Therese. Mm -hmm. And that's who I am. Yeah, Lord. God created you to be who you are. Amen. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. <coughs> Amen. We're all different. Mm -hmm. But we're still the same. Yes, yeah, Lord. He created you in his own image. Mm -hmm. But there are some people that will try to steal the shine yes. from someone else yes. to make themselves look good. Yes, Lord. Throwing shade against somebody else doesn't make you look any better. Amen. It makes you look a little pathetic. That you have to ride somebody else's coattail. Glory to God. Amen. To get some kind of recognition. Mm -hmm. When it's not about recognition, mm -hmm. it's about the glory of God. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> and he told him, he said, that I'm not the one that you're looking for. Because there was gossip going around town about there was a Messiah, there was a king that was coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we talked about it last week, how the king got angry. Yes. Because he didn't want to share his throne with anybody. Praise the Lord. But John told the people that I'm not the 
one mm -hmm. that you are looking for. Mm -hmm. He said, I have some power. But there is one that is mightier mm -hmm. than me. Mm -hmm. And he's so great that I'm not even worthy to even tie up his shoe. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there is one that's coming. And this is my favorite part. He said, I'm baptizing you with war. I, I, I'm baptizing you in this river. But he's going to baptize you <coughs> with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Glory to God. And the Bible says that Jesus came to where John was. Mm -hmm. Baptized. Yes. It was time for Jesus to let the people see yes. that he, in fact, was the one that they were looking for. Yes. Mm -hmm. He didn't hide. Mm -hmm. He didn't run away. Yes. Glory to God. I I, I've seen fights. Mm -hmm. yes. And growing up as a young person, you always have that friend that likes to start the fights. And then when it's time to fight, they gone. Yep. Oh, yeah. You have that friend that used to talk all the smack. Yep. And you would probably have to go and help them yep. defend themselves <laughs> against whomever they had got into it with. Yeah, Lord. So Jesus <coughs> was coming to let the world know that he was definitely in town. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that he came to be baptized. Yeah. So Jesus did things in order. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there are a lot of leaders mm -hmm. that are not in order. Mm -hmm. And you cannot lead people. When you're not in order yourself. Yes, Lord. Because you out of order. Yes, mm -mm -mm. Your people out of order. Move to another place. And God is yeah. not a God of disorder. Move. He's a God of order. So the Bible says that Jesus came down to be baptized. And I imagine that John was honored mm -hmm. that he was to baptize Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that Jesus came down into the Jordan where John was. Yes, yes. And he was ready <coughs> to be baptized. And the Bible says that he went down and was baptized and he was brought back up. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that a dove descended mm -hmm. upon his shoulder. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there was a voice from heaven yes. that said, this is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. Yes. See, the dove represents peace. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Yes. God was letting the people know that your peace mm -hmm. has finally arrived. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Yes. There are some times in life that we go through a lot of stuff. Yes. And we pray and we pray and we pray. Yes. And we ask the Lord to come into our life. Yes. And sometimes we say, Lord, just give me a sign. Yes. To let me know that you are hearing and answering my prayers. Yes. So that was the sign to the people. 
to let them know that their peace yes. has finally arrived. Yes. Oh, yes. Mount Zion, I, I came by Amen. this morning and afternoon to let you know. Yes. Even though the enemy is trying to steal my wind. Oh. <coughs> Glory to God. The devil is alive. Amen. Yes. The devil is alive. Yes, Lord. The Lord gives me a sign. And I'm receiving my sign right now. Letting me know that through sickness, God still will enable you to be able to deliver. I stop by to let you know today that your peace has finally arrived. Yes. I stopped by to let somebody in the room today know mm. that your prosperity has arrived. Mm. We can all stand some type of blessing you, because he's just that kind of God yes, that through our stuff and our baggage, you, he still is in the blessing business. The songwriter said, the Lord, the Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. He woke me up this morning, started me on my way. The Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. The Lord is blessing you. Right now, oh, right now, the Lord is keeping you. Right now, oh, right now, he woke you up this morning, started you on your way. Because this place 
is holy. Holy, holy, holy. Minister Terry, I want you to take this oil. Glory to God. I want you to anoint this altar as the Holy Spirit leads you. After she is done, after she's done with the anointing, I want everybody in here to come and bring those three things to the altar. I just want you to touch the altar. I just want you to touch it. Now, if you don't believe, then you shall not receive. But you got to have the faith <coughs> the size of a mustard seed. You got to have the faith to know that God is able to do just what he said he would do. Yes. Glory to God. Everybody got three things. Are there three things? Even our young people, you got three things that you want to let go, that you're tired of carrying. I'm tired. All right, Pastor Bibbs is tired of carrying some stuff around. So even Pastor Bibbs got to let some stuff go. Because if you fool, then God can't fill you up. There's some things in our causes that we need to throw out. Clear out the old. <laughs> and make room for the new. Because better is coming. Amen. As you can come and just leave whatever it is on the altar. I want everybody to come and just just lay your hand on the altar and leave it there.